visuals and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Venom. Well, not to, but to the Venom. Welcome back to the Visual Guys Film Reviews for the Venom spoiler free review. And if you want to hear a spoiler heavy review, come back on Sunday. It will be up on the channel podcast form. Me and Chris, in depth talk and spoiler Venom, Derby Carnage shenanigans. This was beautiful. The cutscene was amazing. I'm trying to explode with information of what happened to the cutscene because it was fucking epic. And. Uh, I guess, fuck <laughs> your shoes. We are being joined by Venom because... But, we are being joined by Rebecca. Because she come to watch Venom. She wants to give her thoughts and opinions and whatnot. Spoiler free though, by the way. Me and Chris will be doing the... Excuse me. Velcro. Spoiler free. Yeah, oh, this one's spoiler free. The podcast will be spoiler heavy. You can you can wait to do the podcast. I just want to explore... I'm getting a phone call off Andy. You'll have to wait, sir. It's spoiler free. It's spoiler free. But yes, we have been done, dusted, Venom, Venom. let there be carnage, uh, Venom, Venom, get it, no one, get them. Um, the, the, the second installment to, to the, the Venom verse, we've got uh, Morbius still to come. Uh, we've got some, what's dog getting? Um, Dog's getting bad. What a fucking fantastic film. This film was absolutely amazing from start to finish, and it upped the ante from the first film, whether it be in terms of. Hi! Ugh. Right, this house is just carnage today. Dog kicking off, mum kicking off. Be right, I didn't even mean to do that. That was a shit joke. But no, this film up the ante. It was it was so great from the terms of like uh, the relationships with Eddie and Venom themselves being more uh, uh, of a, a comedic dynamic duo. Um, like fallout. Yeah, Fallout bust ups. Even though that was a kind of a mini spoiler there. Um, the Optimus is joining us. It, it, it was the way they, they evolved from the, the first one was great. Even the uh, animation between how Venom looked and the way he protrudes uh, in this film was 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 a lot better. Uh, you'd see all like the little strainy bits. In fact, uh, Eddie Brock even interacts with them at one point. There's, there's a great little bust up. Mm. You want to add to that bit? Uh, the, the, the Venomy bits coming. I out. just love the the bit in the toilet they were about. Ah, right, yeah. Mm. And it's the same with Carnage, the way that it has all of his, and they had, they brought back one of Carnage's classic weapons, is the whole hand axe thing, that was seen in there. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Uh, one of the biggest, I think the standout performance of this was, for me, would have to have been Woody Harrelson, because I personally, if you would have told me like five, ten years ago, oh, Woody Harrelson, we're going to play Cletus Cassidy, you know, we know for being a rapist, a murderer, a bit of a weird sexual deviant. Um, I'll be like, no, I won't really match the two. But I, it was actually this, even though Carnage isn't symbiotic with Cletus Cassidy, this was a symbiotic acting um, shenanigans because he was fucking flawless in they this. They kind of like mention it though, don't they? Like Ben mentions. Yeah, they actually bring up, which is quite cool because obviously I've, I've done a whole video breakdown on it. Carnage isn't a, a symbiote. It's part of it's Cletus's blood infused with Venom, making him. Uh, whereas Eddie and uh, Venom is symbiotic. We get to see a little bit more of a, 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 um, a histor, a little bit more of um, Eddie's wrongdoings and upbringings because it, Cle Cle Cletus explores them a bit more as well. So Eddie becomes a bit more of an in-depth character. It's different as well from most Eddies we've had from the comics. It's 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 a different take on Eddie Brock we've seen. Um, but Tom Hardy was still flawless, but Woody Harrelson takes it for me. What else? The, the only downside to this film, like I said to be when we left, was was the, the, the runtime. It was an hour and 40, but it just felt like... They're getting, I think they're literally seeing the time. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, it's like over with, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we, get, the, we, we get the introduction. Uh, Cletus becomes Carnage. Shenanigans happens. And it sort of felt like film ended. I was like, what? And we also bring in some B-list, uh, well, a B-list comic book characters. I didn't think we'd really explore, even though we saw them in the trailer. But it was great to see that side. Um, seeing a young Cletus, they did an animation spot where Tom Hardy's looking at the anime, like, uh, the, the, reading the history of Cletus, and there's like a weird oh, gothic... Oh, I like that. Yeah. Where well, they were sat in it, like, facing each other. Yeah, it was fucking awesome, because uh, Cletus is really up, kind of obsessed with editing this, but you're, you're, I, without spoiling it, you'll see why Cletus then is like, well, fuck you, Eddie, I need to shenanigans you back uh, like, this is the way like this is why I've been the way I have been with you because I this is the be way this. yeah um, oh, no. the, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but th definitely better from the first one the first one was outstanding we obviously we explored a lot more symbiotes to hopefully toxins still to come I said to be at the end of that would be amazing if we get to see toxins at some point in the future um, but we get to see Eddie now well, we don't, I can't really spoil this bit because now Eddie and Venom are in a certain place in their Venomverse. Some shenanigans happens, which is just fucking amazing. I can't wait till we get to we talk about it with Chris and whatnot. I don't know how they're going to be looked at going forward in their respective present 
it's a bit fucked up. This is like I was me and Chris for the podcast, just like fucking ram it down the fucking. But it was amazing. You can have so much fun. Um, it's 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 one of the more funnier, definitely without a shadow of a doubt, uh, without trying too hard. I don't think um, comedy superhero films. Uh, the, the the fight sequences between again because it's all fluidy symbiotic shenanigans. The fight sequences between Carnage and Venom, fucking flawless. It feels so smooth. Uh, obviously using the weaknesses against so them. We all know the symbiotes don't like fucking vibrations. We all remember Spider Man Three and Peter Parker's like doom doom doom. Remember that from Spider Man Three? Mm. Do you? Yeah. Do you, you say you remember yeah. shit? And it's, actually, yeah. it's quite cool. He's like ding 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 ding. Brrrm. We get to see that. We get to see the fire shenanigans. Turns out. Well, no, he does at the end, but it turns out Venom doesn't like Dan, which makes me a bit upset. You'll get that when you watch the film. If you go as well with anyone like Dan, with the cutscene, um, the way you acted with that. Well, I can't help it. This is what I love. And I, I was sort of just sat there, like, staring at it, like, please don't look around because people might be staring at ah, I couldn't give a fuck <laughs> at this point. I saw someone I absolutely adore and love and was amazing. Uh, and it, it just had to be fucking done. I had to go nuts. I won't tell you what it is. You'll hear from it. So yeah, and Andy Serkis, we need to give a mention to Andy Serkis directing this. Uh, obviously, we, we mostly know him as Precious. Oh, you're giving him a little... Him a little. Yeah. yeah, it was great. Um, it, it was just so... The, and in fact, I tell you what, tell you what there's also two other spots I noticed. I thought, that's a bit pointless. Where Eddie Brock does two random wheelies on his motorbike. Oh, where he, where he jumps with it as well. One where he... Uh, he, uh, he drives off from the police. Officer. Yeah, and he just drives and goes... Eh, and I'm like, well... But I mean, it, it looks this cool. This like this badass that's like... He doesn't need to prove himself. It's Tom Hardy. He's just a legit badass. Well, but there's things that you can and can't do in the world of driving. But to be fair, though, this is the world of this is the Venom verse. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but it was a little bit like, why did you just pop a random wheelie? But no, you can have I giggles. Get why you've done it. You get why you done it, mm. just because of badass. Yeah. Um, you're gonna have plenty of giggles. You're gonna have plenty. Of, it's not. There's not too much like emo, like. Uh, no, there is happy cry at the end, but there's not like. Uh, but so you no. don't, don't have to worry about your feel feels. It's like uh, the comedic side that you get from Venom. Jags a comedic. Been that way, the the way uh, because obviously Tom Hardy, ha- Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy plays Hardy, Venom, Hardy, Hardy, Hardy. Um, and again he voices it. <laughs> it's now the battle between the voice of Venom or the voice of Bane. We'll find out who. I wins. like the bit where um, he sort of mimics Venom as well. Yes. And you're just like. <laughs> Can you yourself, huh? hey. <laughs> but it, it's uh, it's quite cool because Tom Hardy's obviously got an earpiece on, and when he records the Venom lines, they play them back. So he and it, it's it's just fun seeing it that way. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice stepping stone for stepping forward, whatever stepping stone means to just like get somewhere in life, doesn't it? Some shit like that. Yeah, we we're getting somewhere with Venom. We're seeing like where he's going in the future. Quite literally, where is he going? We'll talk about that Who later. Who um, knows? Amazing, flawless. It gets a massive ten out of ten. Even though I've said, oh, it could have been a bit, maybe a bit longer or whatever. I, I'm, I know, and I'm always, I'm very Kevin Smith about this. I'm always very uh, optimistic and like, yeah, I love it, and just too, too much. Yeah, yeah, I can't help it. It's my second and third favorite combo characters of all time on the big screen. Carnage's uh, debut on the big screen. Dog's got go? rubbish. What? Our dog is quite literally <laughs> Carnage in terms of like. Ah, he's got it again. Oh, he's got it again. Chaos. He's got it again. Don't eat that though. <laughs> and he's too quick for me. And when you see the Venom transformation, uh, Eddie and Brock into Venom is is the same, but the Woody Harrelson or the Keir Stassi into Carnage is, is slightly different. It's you can sort of see it. I don't know. Sort of come come out. The way it looks is really freaking cool because obviously there's a, there's a fight. Well, the the main the big fight uh, in the third act is is very much them transforming back and forward it's, and it just looks cool but massive 10 out of 10 for me love it and I cannot wait to see where we go because we know that some weird shenanigans are going to happen yeah. that was the spoiler free review it's just basically us saying 10 out of 10 amazing awesome Andy Circus, great job Tom Hardy great job um, Woody Harrelson great everybody great job uh, 10 out of 10 loved it what the fuck is that I'm excited uh, to go back we're excited to go we are literally <laughs> as soon as Chrissy gets here ready to rock and roll we're going back Visuals, that was our review for Venom, Let There Be Carnage. And how many so times did they say, Let There Be Carnage? I think it was two. I think it was twice I said it. Right. I'll tell you what else was... <laughs> at- <laughs> whoa, whoa. Get away, get away. Damage. The biggest, one of the best things I am also going to say is one of the best things you'll ever see in cinema. Well, I'm saying this from a, a biased standpoint because it's a character I'm heavily invested in. Was Carnage's official... Entrance into the, the into the into the motion picture was because obviously there's a certain scene there's a doorway you see it in the trailer and Jesus fucking oh. Christ it was just like 
Because you knew it was coming. You knew exactly but it was a bit of smoke, a bit of mist. It's dark. It's like a guy like, ah! And he, he just, oh, it's beautiful. And the stained glass window bit was very, I don't know, sort of looked sort of poetic. Like they're in a holy place, but there's these like demonic beasts fighting. It was symbolism there. And, and, and a Stanley cameo, which we won't point out to you, but not a real cameo, but he's there. But it's kind of like the first Venom. Hey, they're trading cards in the first film. Dun, we... dun, dun, dun. Hey, 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 you know, he hasn't got any. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Um, I'm not even asking, not even our normal set, okay. No, fuck okay, it, they're not evolving skies. Um, well, they are, but the thing is, what was I going to say? In the first film, we didn't physically get to see Stan Lee. It's the same sort of way in this film. Visuals. It's not a physical cameo. No. Uh, it's, yeah. You, you, let us know if you spot it. Visuals, that was our spoiler of re review. Re 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 dogs, what's he got now? Done. Visuals, that was our spoiler free review for Venom. Let them be kind. It's 10 out of 10. Amazing. Loved it all. Just go and see it. Twice, maybe you, three times. You fucking, you just. I'm getting more popcorn. She, she has sold this film to you, hasn't she? Get, get a nice one. Hey, you're buying this time. Chris, <clears throat> thanks for watching. We'll keep being you. Keep on keeping on. I got a paper comment. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs>